Hello and welcome back to Paul's Beer Reviews. Hope you're doing well. I've got a pale ale for you now. It's a pale ale from Brewdog. It's a can of their Indie 500ml can. I picked this up for £1.49 in B&M. Never had it before. Never had this one before. I've seen it, um, but not for this price. £1.49 for a 500ml can of Brewdog beer. I thought, I'll give it a whirl, eh? 4.2% ABV, independent pale ale it's described as. I quite like the colour. I like that dark grey thing. They call that gunmetal, don't they? Gunmetal grey, if they had that wrapped on a Range Rover or something. Uh, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, blimey. Tiny letters. Um, ingredients. Water, malted barley, malted wheat, yeast and hops. So far, sounds safe. So yeah, 500ml can of brew dog pale ale. 4.2% ABV, £1.49 in uh, b and I thought I'd give it a whirl, see if it's any good. Not had a brew dog beer for a little while. They're one of them breweries that you know they're capable of good stuff because they've proved it over the years. But they're also really good at knocking out some tripe, so you're never quite sure what you're going to get with them. So, yeah. So here's the Indie Pale Ale. Um, it's certainly pale. It looks like a hazy lager <clears throat> on first impressions. Decent enough levels of carbonation. I'll get a little bit closer to the camera. Can you see that? Make out the carbonation rising up there. Pretty decent levels of carbonation. So it really looks, it's a very slight haze to it. It looks like a hazy lager. Fluffy white head, which is just starting to sort of pop down a bit now. Um, yeah, barely a finger now. Foamy washing up liquid looking head. Hopefully it doesn't smell and taste like washing up liquid. But you never know. You never know. So yeah, hazy, gold. It just it looks like a hazy lager to me, this one. But it says it's a pale ale. A light pale ale, 4.2. So far, I'm, I'm quite satisfied with that. Um, let's get me snouting. See what the aroma's telling us. Yeah, you're getting a malted barley, you're getting a malted wheat. It smells like a lager, to be honest. Not getting much in the way of hops. Subtle citrus aroma. It smells like a craft lager. It smells clean enough. I'm not getting any horrible funkiness coming out of that. It smells alright, but I get the feeling this is going to be quite a straightforward review. So, um, yeah, let's quit waffling. Let's get stuck in. Cheers. A little bit of bitterness at the back end there. Wasn't expecting that. Gonna go again. Yeah, <laughs> this is baffling me, this one. I'm not sure what it's trying to do. I'm not sure what it's trying to do. There's a bit of, there's a bit of body to it. It's not water thin. It's quite drinkable. It's citrusy, but it's subtle. In that sense, there's a bit of grapefruit, a bit of lemon, lime. A bit of body to it. It coats the palate. A little bit of carbonation there. But then as that sort of carbonation and subtle citrus flavour fades away, I'm just getting a bit of... Um, a metallic sort of tang with the hops and there is a bit of hoppy bitterness at the back end which I appreciate but married with that is this odd metallic taste that is putting me off um, a 
carbonation. Well carbonated this one. I do like the body. It really has coated my palate. My mouth is now full of the sort of malted wheat, malted barley. Subtle citrus hoppy flavour. But that metal I can't get I can't get past that metallic flavour now. That's doing my head in. <coughs> Excuse me. Bit on the gassy side this one, I do apologise. Um Yeah, that's it's being let down. It's being let down by that metallic edge at the back end with the bitterness. This is quite a fresh one as well. This is good till uh, end of October, this one. So it's quite a fresh one. So it's not a bad buy from B&M, but um, yeah, it's not terrific. Looks all right in the glass. It's, it's a hazy lager. It's a hazy lager. Well carbonated. Nice bit of citrus bitterness. And yeah, just as just as it fades, just as it's starting to die out now at the back of the palate. There's a bitterness from the hops and in, in the mix of it, just chucked in, there's an horrible metallic -y taste to it that's putting me right off. Uh that's a shame. That's actually a shame. If that if they'd eradicated that from it, that would be a half decent crafted like crafty lager. That's how I would describe it. It says it's a pale ale, but that for me is just a crafty lager. There's not enough in it for it to be a pale. There's not enough in the way of hops. Yeah. The, the more I drink it, the more pronounced that metallic bit is coming at the end. That's a shame. That's a shame, because apart from that, it's not bad. Um, but it's really let down by that little bit of edginess there. Um... I wouldn't buy it again. £1.49 seemed like a good price, um, but it's let itself down. It's let itself down. It's not very good, unfortunately. Um, I will give that... I will take into consideration the price. Some people might not mind that little bit of metallic. I mean, if you drink cheap lager, then try that. It'd be better than a lot of them, to be honest. Um, but I say it's, it's off-putting for me, that little bit of artificial metallic taste at the end of it it's not it's not great not great um but other than that it'd be all right um i'm gonna give it a four out of ten i think it's slightly below average unfortunately uh four out of ten for brew dogs indie um 149 in b and m 500 mil can um go out grab one if you haven't already let me know what you think in the comments below uh yeah four out of ten i hope you've enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you have i would appreciate that and uh yeah till the next one you take care